So what did I think about the peer observation? Well, surprisingly, seeing as I'm in my third year as a GCA, I've not been observed much at all, really, which was one area I think coming in as a GCA with quality assurance, I would have thought I would have been observed more within my department. Uh, well, that's just because the people I work with are confident that I can teach, I don't know. So I was quite daunted by the idea of someone coming in, an expert, if you like, coming and watching me. Now, within the uh, PG cap, you get two potential experts. One expert in your field, usually a supervisor or a mentor that can come in, and one expert in teaching, which was the programme leader, Sir Chrissy. Uh, so both those were very different experiences. I felt that my actual teaching performance in both situations were different. I found that with Chrissy, the uh, PG cap uh, leader watching, my teaching was very much focused on the best teaching practice, not necessarily covering as much of the, uh, the theory as I usually would. Whereas when I have the, the expert in the module lead of what I teach on, the psychology module, he, uh, my uh, content was very much theory led, because it almost felt like I had to prove to him that I did know the theory. Now, so on reflection, I found that both were the extremes, and ultimately they want to find this middle ground. So I think within the PGCAT, the different perspectives of observers that you have can really help you get this idea of where you should be regarding combining the expert knowledge of theory and your developing expert knowledge of teaching practice and how you can link the two together to become a better lecturer and academic.